And here we go again, Bears versus Vikings. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports Talk back at it with another video talking, of course, some NFL in here to talk about this week 15 matchup between the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings, their second and final matchup of the regular season. So I'm going to be breaking everything down here for you guys, the matchups, the keys for the games, what needs to happen, what I want to see, what I think I'll see, and a final score at the very end. So if you're new to the channel, guys, make sure to go ahead and subscribe because I do post a lot of Chicago Bears content on the channel as well as NFL content in general. But you're going to want to stay subscribed for that and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I drop a new video because I do and have been doing game previews and post-game recaps for every single Bears game this season and will continue to do so for as long as the Bears season is going on. So with that being said, also follow me on my social media accounts, guys, links down below and on the stream for that. Let's get into it. So I said, here we go again, because here we go again with the Minnesota Vikings, who we played and lost to in week 10 all right and that was by a final score of 19 to 13 i wanted to just forget about that game and erase it from my memory because it was an awful ugly disgusting loss and up until this point in the season prior to week 15 post week 14 i would say that was arguably the worst loss of the bears entire season like that game was on a silver platter for the bears to win in week 10 against the Vikings, and they just flat out gave it away. Flat out gave it away. If you remember, that was the game that Nick Foles ended up getting hurt. We saw a little bit of Tyler Bray there at the end. That was the game David Montgomery was out because of a concussion. So that game hurt, folks. And it came back to bite us because now we are in an absolute tug of war with the Minnesota Vikings to grab that last wild card spot, okay? It's us, it's the Vikings, and it's the Cardinals who have a one-game lead above both the Bears and the Vikings. But essentially, this game, it's about as must-win as they come because if we win this game, not only do we take a one-lead game ahead of the Vikings, we essentially take them out of contention if we do, obviously, uh, you know, maintain our business moving forward, but we essentially take them out of contention for that last wild card spot, and it would just be us competing with the Cardinals. All right, so it's a huge game. It's an absolutely monstrous game in terms of impact and what it could mean for the Bears' playoff chances. Okay, so again, disgusting loss in Week Ten. I just I cannot believe we lost that game. But now it is our time to get redemption and revenge against the Minnesota Vikings. Let's talk about how we can do that in week 15. All right, let's start with the offensive side of the football here, folks. And I mentioned to you guys that we did not have David Montgomery for that first Vikings game. And that was a huge, huge loss because we don't really have any running back behind David Montgomery, okay? In that game, Cordero Patterson, I love you, see Pat. But he only had 12 rushes for 30 yards, okay? We know he's not a running back or a pure running back. And so what I'm trying to say here is we got Monty back. He's on fire. The first key is going to be to continue feeding David Montgomery, okay? We have been having success offensively these last few weeks. Even if they have not translated to wins, we have been having offensive success. And our offenses actually look competent. Because we have been able to run the football successfully, thanks to David Montgomery. He's been ripping off big chunks. He's been ripping off long uh, runs for touchdowns. And that needs to continue against a Vikings team that is still not very good defensively, folks. We're talking about the 23rd ranked defense overall, 27th against the pass, 23rd against the rush. So they're bad everywhere. And you can still run on this Minnesota Vikings team. Is their run D as bad as the Texans or the Packers? No, but it's not great by any means. So Monty still needs to be fed over and over again. I want a heavy dose of David Montgomery in this game like we have been seeing the past few weeks. Okay, so that's the biggest key here. And I'm telling you right now, if we had David Montgomery for that first game, I think we win that football game against the Minnesota Vikings. All right, key number two, let's talk about the other running back in this game. Dalvin Cook, okay? Dalvin Cook, if you guys remember from my 
game preview in week 10, in the first time we played the Vikings, I said the number one key is stopping Dalvin Cook. And at that point, he was on fire. He was literally lighting up the league. He was unstoppable. And I said the Bears need to hone in on him. This is going to be his toughest matchup. And you know what? The Bears did a pretty damn good job on Dalvin Cook, okay? He had 30 rushes for 96 yards, which is not very good per yard average, okay? The 96 yards looks nice, but on 30 carries, not very efficient. I will take that. So the Bears need to continue doing that this week. We need our run defense to absolutely shut out Dalvin Cook. Do I think that's going to happen? Probably not, but at least let's try to slow him down. If we get a performance like that, that we got in week 10, I'll take it. I'll take it. So so Dalvin Cook, you got to stop him because if Dalvin Cook gets going, then you will see that the Vikings are okay just feeding him the rock all game. I mean, even when he wasn't going, they fed him the ball 30 times against the Bears, folks. And we saw last week when they lost the Vikings to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's because Dalvin Cook was essentially shut down in a way. Now, again, you're not going to completely, you know, erase him because he's just too good of a running back. But can you neutralize him? Yes. And that's how you have success against this Minnesota Vikings team. Put the ball in Kirk Cousins' hands and force him to throw a football. And if he beats you throwing the ball... Uh, versus Dalvin Cook running it up your gut, I will take that all day, and I will just take my L at that point. So you got to stop Dalvin Cook. And our Bears defense last week played really well. Weeks before that, against Detroit, against Green Bay, they were awful. So I need this Bears defense from earlier in the season, from last week. I need that defense. I need that defense to show up and show out against Dalvin Cook. Hopefully with everything on the line, they understand they need to perform, and we need to stop Dalvin Cook. Key number three. Let's get some pressure on Kirk Cousins. Can we do that? Can we Can we please do that? Robert Quinn. Ro where is Robert Quinn? Like, we paid him a boatload of money, and I've not seen this man make a, an impactful performance in any game, right? Like, he is getting paid so much money, and I don't see any semblance of ROI, return on investment, on Robert Quinn. So I need Robert Quinn to show up and show out this week. I need our pass rush to show up and show out this week. Khalil Mack had a beautiful game last week. We know what Khalil Mack does, but I need to see more of that, and I need to see it this week. I want this defense to just be so hyped that they treat this like a playoff game because I really do think this is like a playoff game, folks. I'm telling you right now, if the Bears don't win this game, I pretty much am telling you the Bears' playoff chances are essentially over at that point unless the Vikings and the Cardinals collapse. And at that point, why do you want to depend on other teams to control your fate fully, right? So this is a playoff-like atmosphere in a way that it's a must-win, and I need our defense to show up and show out. So pass rush, get pressure on Kirk Cousins. I told you guys this, against non-mobile quarterbacks, the way to obviously have them struggle is to put pressure in their face, and Kirk Cousins does not do well with pressure, okay? And mind you, I haven't even talked about, you know, Mitchell Trubisky and his performance so far in the past couple of games. Nick Foles was our quarterback that week against the Minnesota Vikings, and he was awful. I told you he was bad, okay? Uh, 15 for 26 for 106 yards and a touchdown. So I'm expecting Mitchell Trubisky to have a much better game than Nick Foles did. And I'll tell you this much, Mitchell Trubisky has not lost to the Minnesota Vikings since 2017, I believe, okay? So... We have that on the line as well. So if there was any other motivation the team needed, maybe that's another one. Let's not have Mitch lose to the Vikings because he hasn't lost to the Vikings in a long time. All right, so with that being said, folks, like I said, get pressure in Kirk Cousins' face. Make him turn the football over. Make him throw the football. Uh, you know, you've got two good receivers in Justin Jefferson and Adam Thielen. Justin Jefferson ate us alive, 8 for 135 in that uh, first matchup. So obviously you want to stop him, but... Then you got Adam Thielen, who had two touchdowns. So it's like pick your poison. So if we're doing that, I'll pick my poison in, a, in a stopping Dalvin Cook, okay? And then I will focus on the receivers after, all right? Stop this run game, and you get, have a chance to slow down and beat this Minnesota Vikings team. All right, folks, it's time now. It's time to make my prediction on the Chicago Bears versus the Minnesota Vikings game. And I got to tell you, folks, Coming off a dominating performance against the Houston Texans, you would think 
Fives, you got to roll with the Bears, right? Well, absolutely. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll with the Bears here to beat the Minnesota Vikings 24-17, to folks. And hear me out, okay? This is not me being biased. This is not me, you know, just rooting for the Bears to win because I want them to win. I have picked against the Bears plenty of times this season. I have to go back and check my record. I think I'm like 7-6 and six in terms of correctly predicted whether the Bears win or lose. But point being is, folks, I truly believe we are the better football team. I truly believe that. And now that our offense is looking at least a decent and we have our defense hopefully playing together, if we get our offense and defense and special team, shout out Cairo Santos, to all three play well in the same game, we get domination. And that's what happened against the Houston Texans. The first time all season that we got all three faces of the football playing well together. Are the Vikings as bad defensively as the Texans? No, they're not. But are they the Steelers? Are they the Washington football team? Are they, you know, a top tier defense like that? No, they're not either. Okay, so again, I'm picking the Bears because I truly believe they are the better team here. And I think this is going to be a tight game. I have the Bears winning 24 to 17. We go ahead and beat the Minnesota Vikings. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.